Well, happening today, a third party lab will begin testing the contaminated soil shipped to Putnam County from a toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Governor Holcomb is ordering the lab to monitor for any dangerous level of toxins. Gina Glaros is getting reaction from the community this morning, including a former employee of that Indiana landfill. Good morning, Gina. Good morning to you, Julia and Julia. One resident in Putnam County near that that plant says he will not rest until this is stopped, applauding the governor's decision to have those hazardous materials tested that are being trucked in. Now, he and his family living in Rochdale, and they attended that town hall meeting earlier this week, voicing his concerns about dioxins and the hazardous material and the impact that toxic waste can have on the community and surrounding areas for generations. Now, Jack Wildy, a former internal coordinator for Heritage Environmental, believes the toxic material shouldn't even be coming here because of the classification and says the real threat is vinyl chloride. While he says there is a facility closer to the train crash site that is capable of handling that kind of material and believes the hazardous material should go there. Instead, you'll hear from both of these men coming up here on 13 Sunrise. We are live downtown in Indianapolis. Gina Galeros, 13 News.